Yeah, I'm employed with Moree Hospital as a um, security guard and hospitality services. The AES in Moree put me through a course, a security course. They showed me everything that I had to do. They even found me the job here at the hospital to um, apply for. They helped me with my resume. They went uh, right out of their way. They kept coming over here to the hospital and finding out everything they could for me so that I could get this position. Been employed for the last three and a half years and I'm pretty happy with my job. There's always been a friction about employment. Kids can't get jobs or they, when they couldn't get jobs, they go out and do things and that and that they'd regret. Anywhere in Moree now, there's, uh, there is Aboriginal people employed right across the board. Uh, the trend is sort of turning slowly. Some it's pretty hard to get work in some places. Like AES yes, is pretty good because they get out and find work for the Aboriginal people. Most of the boys have got all families, the kids to look after. So it's pretty, pretty good. You know, that you've got a paycheck coming every week. Yeah. Instead of waiting for a doll check every fortnight. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a big boost to you. Seem to lift the community spirits and that, you know. Um, so, so, you know just uh, Everyone was working and that, and all seemed to have been getting along with each other. You know, it was only seven or eight years ago that you would not see Aboriginal people coming into coffee shops. You know, that's changing. You'll find the anger's been taken out of the community against non-Aboriginal people. You know, that was a huge win in its own right. The other agencies are for everyone, where the AES is just for Indigenous people. And their job is just to go out there and find the Indigenous people a job.